and dreams, of course, can spread plays so many tricks on your minds and this is All Hallows Eve the night when souls are supposed to rise up and a gentleman who knows more than most about this is my next guest Warren Coates from the Northern Ireland Paranormal Research Association Warren thank you for joining me this morning You're welcome Pamela. This is the night isn't it that the souls of the dead are meant to rise up isn't that? Well it is although we we deal with the subject all year round it is it does draw more close to people's thoughts and it is traditionally as you say the night that spurred the field between the spirit world and the physical is at its thinnest. There are an awful lot of people out there who are sceptics and I have to say I would have held my hand up a while back and and been one of them as well. And there's no way round you're going to ever tell somebody who's a sceptic that they're, they that actually they, that ghosts and apparitions are real, is there? Well, th- that's it. And I- I'm happy with sceptics. I mean, I don't mind. We appreciate sceptics coming like to the tours and all we do because we it's it's a personal thing. You know, we're we're not out to prove the existence of the spirit world or the paranormal to anybody. It has to be your own personal experiences, you know, and all we ask for as sceptics, you know, is just have an open mind about it, you know, and if you are shown something and you strip away the possibilities, you know, and you're left with still a, a, a mystery, you have to really look outside the box at something else then. Well, there's a, there's a piece in the, the Belfast Telegraph today and I'm on the, the headline on the, the front cover saying I got an exorcist out to clear out my house. I didn't get an exorcist out. I did not get a medium out, but I did get somebody out to clear my house. And they, they told me amazing things about it. And one of them in particular was that there were a couple of fairly malevolent spirits in my house and this one nice guy who was protecting me from the malevolent ones. Yes. The malevolent ones got cleared and then the nice one was happy to go. And he said he wanted to say goodbye to me. And I thought, now this is, uh, okay, fine, I'll go along with it. And I walked over to where I was told this person was. And it was a beautiful sunny day. The sun was streaming through the windows. And just where I was told this person was, I absolutely froze to the core and I burst into tears. And I could not to explain it. And I couldn't tell that story to people. I started telling people, oh, you know, idea what happened without bursting into tears yeah. because I felt such a feeling of loss and grief. It was amazing. Yes. Well, again, that's it. And if you've been living with like you don't realise on a subconscious level, you're, you're sort of reacting to it. You know, so it's the same as anything. Once that, that thing goes, it, it, you do on a subconscious level, again, you're feeling that. So all the emotion comes out. And it is like lo- loss and losing a member of the family. You know, if that person's been there, and as you say, there is protection everybody has a protective spirit our guardian angel will stay with them you know but there is other spirits which at times you know and all the different energies blend in the different things it's the same as in the living you know and you will pick up on if i'm ever giving anybody a lift into town they think i have lost the run of myself because i always talk to the parking angel and i say parking angel could you please get me a parking space and i visualize where i want to park and i can guarantee nine times out of ten i have got a parking yeah. space and i always say thank you parking angel and the number of my friends are doing that now and i know the listeners to you one of five are going what have we let loose on the radio airwaves this woman is completely barking but it works for me it does work and it's the same as us we'll walk into a location and we'll go good evening friends or when we're leaving a location like the pump house stuff, we'll say good night friends see us next week or whatever and people will go why do you do that and you go look all we're dealing with is a, 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 a person that was living which doesn't have a physical body anymore. As I say, personality traits, everything that person had in, in life, they've still got in spirit. And again, I believe in manners, believe in showing respect to the words due. And if you show it to spirits, they will show you stuff back as well. Now, we have got a lot of places in Northern Ireland. Now, I, I said there was a gentleman called Aidan and Bangor was in touch earlier on today. And he said, Pamela, this is my account of a real ghost sighting back in August 1979 in the village of Mush Mills. And before you ask, no, I had not been imbibing in the local produce, I can assure you. Back in 79, the present day Bush Mills Inn had not been built, but there was a B&B there. And I remember that it was a site run by an elderly lady. The room my wife and I had was above the present day archway and uh, that drives through to gain entry to the present day Bushmills Inn car park. On the night in question, an apparition materialised in the corner of the room, moved diagonally across the room, passed the bed, exited the room via the other corner of the room. The figure was bearded and dressed in military ages, military type attire. My wife also witnessed the apparition, even though she had been previously sceptical about hauntings. We tried to ask the elderly lady at breakfast about any reports of previous ghostly activity. She was very evasive about discussing the matter and changed the subject uh, to general tourist information about the area. Ever since this, I'm convinced that spirits exist on another plane, maybe some parallel time zone that coincides with the present on certain occasions. Yeah, That's the sort of thing that you're dealing with because we do associate 
um, spirits and and the paranormal activity with old properties, with yes. historical properties. It's not not necessarily the it's, case. It's really not, as you say, Pamela. I mean, again, as what the gentleman was saying, you know, it was an old building, but you know, he's seen that apparition. And there is, you know, people always think a, a ghost or a spirit. We hate getting called ghosts, but uh-huh. you know, or earthbound energy, something that's trapped here and can't move on. But a lot of times, they're in what's known as visitation. You know, and we do believe they're existing just in different plane of existence around us. You know, so it's just at certain times, if you're relaxed, and again, they were relaxed, were at ease, you know, their whole conscious and subconscious mind were at ease, and that's why the spirits, it's just like sort of, it melts through, and for a split second or two, they're able to see it, and then they're back in their own dimension again. Now, a lot of the our, our places, as I say, the historical places in Northern Ireland, um, the, it, it's cool to have a ghost. It's cool yeah, to have the spirit so. world. Um, you and I filmed many years ago for UTV in, yeah. in a certain bar down in, in Donaghadee that's well known for, for its spirits yes. and not just the ones that are on optic, although I have that, those too. Um, and, and we had some fairly, fairly amazing experiences oh, really that night because really nothing happened as far as we were concerned there and then at the time we just didn't really see anything but I was playing back a tape the next day and I had the camera at my feet and the banging that came on that tape and I remember I ran out of the edit booth because it was such it, it took the, ne- yes. the levels off the the Richter scale and it was just as you had said to in in the, the darkness of the room is there anybody there and I was in charge of the camera and the microphone and didn't fake it yeah. It was incredible that night. See, so yeah, it's, it's called EVP and it's electronic voice phenomena and it's only picked up on recordings. You know, and people always assume that it is just going to be voice, but we've had occasions as well, like that one, where it's been loud noises. And as you say, it's noises that there's no way you would have missed them, even if people had been talking. You know, as you say, loud noises, which are like somebody banging on a wall or slamming a door. You know, and again, that same, you know, as we always try to explain to people, because they don't have a physical body, it's really hard for that spirit to actually manipulate anything on, on the, the physical earth plane. You know, but on the spirit plane, they're able to do that and they're able to produce these sounds. Some of the sounds could be a door that maybe hasn't been in that building for 50, 60, 80 years, but that, st- that sound still will sort of generate. And a common occurrence would be, uh, say, a draft or something, just a feeling that something is there. And that was something that you, because you asked me, did I know a particular person the next day? And you said this person had been standing behind me and I kept looking round at them. And you said, "You, you did you see anybody? Yeah. I said, no, and I don't know why I looked round that day, but it was it was another, it's a name that had never been in the public domain that's right, down yes. there before. And that did cause a brave stir that time, so it did. <laughs> but, but that's what it is, you know. Again, we explain to people, it's like walking into your room and you know there's been an argument in that room. You're picking up on that energy, and it's the same with spur world. And everybody, you know, people always ask, you know, or use mediums and all that. There, and we're def- we're all developing mediums. I don't think you can ever be a fully fledged medium, mm. you know. But everybody has that ability. Some people shun it. Some people sort of but don't do, want to know. But it. Do, that's what I was going to ask you. Do people have that ability? Are are more are people more susceptible to it than others? Everybody has it. People are more susceptible. A lot of people, it's hereditary. You find out sort of like your grandmother or great grandfather or something out there dealt a lot of things they got in the years ago. But pe- some people say, just do not want to know it. They're having experiences happen to them all the time. It's the same as what we get a lot of time is people phone us up and go, every house I move into is ha- I'm getting haunted and there's some spirit following me. And we go, it's not that. You're just picking up on the different energies. And because the old ready bracket with some people at a certain age like myself can uh-huh. remember that red and, glow yeah, exactly <laughs> you got this glow around the person and they say that that's what people that are tuning in the spirit are like in the spirit world it's a, their spirits are attracted to them you know and that's why it doesn't matter where you go to in the world if, if you are tuning in the spirit the spirit will be attracted to you and again I would like to stress to everybody they do not mean you any harm no matter what films or what mm-hmm. shows are portrayed on TV about demonic things. They Don't go it. down <laughs> into the cellar. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, that's it, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But but, there, but as you said also, that uh, the person in spirit is what they were in life. So if they were a nasty person in life, they're going to be pretty nasty to you in, yes. in death. Yes, well, very much so. I mean, we have had locations and done certain things where people have got pushed. One of them's where we had we actually heard people getting physically slapped in the face, and the, the, the person they were physically slapped, and you actually heard it, you know. So yeah, yes, definitely. I mean, we used to do stuff in a, a certain place down in Armagh, and there was one of the gentlemen came in there, and he hated people being in that location, and when, he, when his sort of energy came in the atmosphere, you just felt a change in the whole place, and he would have pushed you, he would have nipped you, he would have slapped her, he would have done. He actually made people physically sick. And one of our group members was actually sick for about three days just because of the sheer powerful energy that this person had. 
animals are meant to be very susceptible to the to the spirits as well, and that's quite often can be a quite a great indicator. You know, if, if an animal fire, you know, like cats in particular, yeah, yes. shoot out of houses and don't come back for weeks or, or well, whatever. Yeah. Well, that's it. I mean, children as well. I mean, I probably say, you know, my, my sorry, kids were really young. We used to stand, stir a certain part of the wall or watch somebody going across the room as did their dog or cat. And children, dogs and cats can see a lot more of the, the sort of visual spectrum than what we can. You know, at a certain age, it's as if we're sort of clammed down, like the blinkers go on, basically. You know, and that's why experts will show themselves at, at first to people at a peripheral vision. People say, I could have sworn I look corner my eyes and something moving. Mm -hmm. And again, that's why people like Darren Brown and all, they'll do stuff on TV. It's all directed to your subconscious mind through the peripheral vision that goes straight into your subconscious mind. And do we have areas that are more susceptible to uh, to the spirit world or, or is it throughout in general? It's just because we assume because it's it's it's, it's a historical site, it's, it's more likely to be haunted. That's it, exactly. To me, their spirits, as you said, can be around us anywhere. The modern old locations, brand new builds, wherever. I was told I had one in my car. Well, it's quite Which, possible now. I mean, we've dealt with a couple. Actually, there was a gentleman phoned me a couple of years ago and said his car had moved twice <laughs> out of his drive, went down the road, and he actually thought, oh, we were laughing, but this guy's like winding us up. But he actually phoned me back a couple of days later, apologised, and that was his brother had an extra set of keys. <laughs> I was moving his car, but that, that, that's what people are like. And pe people unfortunately they tell somebody, and then that person goes, "Oh, it sounds like a demon you have." And the pe some people are doing what saying like, like we do a lot of private cases. We always on doing investigations, and again, that's completely free of charge to the public. But some of the things people will watch one of the programs on TV, or they'll talk to somebody, and straight away they'll phone us up, crying down the phone. I've got a demonic, or I was told this is gonna, you know, my 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 life or my child's life's in danger. And it's it's things that you got sort of get us because you, you're trying to portray to them that you you more the fear of walking down the streets of your hometown than what you have with the spirit world. I remember you were t talking about cars many years ago, watching the movie Christine, which was about a, yes. a demonic car, and I was driving down the motorway. I had a very old mini clubman at the time, and the wipers just went off on its own, and I just watched this movie. I nearly drove off the motorway. It was <laughs> it was an electrical fault. <laughs> Keep there telling you yourself talk, Well, no, it was. It was. It was. It was. It was an electrical fault. Honestly, Warren, it was an electrical fault. But obviously, today is the day where uh, people are going to be out and about. And if somebody does feel that they are worried, can they just come and talk to you about it? And yep. and, and would you advise them to maybe, if you can get, a, you know, if it's something that is frightening the, the proverbial idea, yeah. Do you? Would you get it cleared or is there a way of dealing it yourself? There certainly is. We can do the clearance ourselves. We will go out and if we deem that there is paranormal activity, there is an actual haunting in the premises, we'll give them advice and we'll say, look, we'll come out, we'll investigate it. We'll hopefully be able to pick up the names of the person that lived there and some information about them, find out why exactly they're there. You know, again, it could be just trying to say, look, you maybe I passed over a lot of years ago of cancer and now I'm OK. And they're just mm -hmm. trying to show the family that they're OK could be that the family's moved in, that person didn't know they're dead, and all of a sudden these strangers are in their house, knocking down walls and doing you no know, refurbishing, and they don't like it. You know, so we can, if we go in, we deem there is a activity, we can help them do a clearing. Or, you know, again, some people prefer a member of the clergy to do it. Unfortunately, it's still that, like, some members of the clergy do treat it as a sort of taboo subject in Northern mm. Ireland. You know, but seriously, but if most of the time, nine times out of 10, we just sort of show them how to explain it to them, show them how to take control of the situation themselves and they can sort it themselves. I was telling Morris earlier on that um, as a friend of mine is very susceptible and she was filming up in Crumlin Road Jail and uh, it was before it became a tourist attraction and she said, she, she said, honestly Pam, she said, as I was leaving I could feel all these spirits just around me and she said, I yeah. just kept saying, you're not coming home with me, you're not coming home with me, you're not coming home with me. Yes. And I said, try the same thing on a Saturday night when you're leaving the <laughs> club as well, would you? <laughs> didn't go down well but that's <laughs> that's the sort of thing that she, she was doing yes. on, a, on a regular well, basis that's it and again we would say to people a lot of times we, we were experiencing an awful lot in the criminal road jail as well because we used to run our own tours and all and, and we would have always said to people you know certain people down to like the, 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 the hanging room or you know down into the flogging, pe the flogging room people would have said about I feel like, pres like a pressure on my neck or my shoulders and at times the spirit will Put, put on to you how they died in the dry dock a lot of people would say about they feel like a crushing as if they can't breathe in their chest and again there's so many accidents happen there we would say all you just do is if you feel it you don't have to say it out it's just intone to yourself please take that off me mm -hmm. again all the spirit is is just doing because they're there on a tour or something 
it shows that they're interested. So they are tuning in, no matter whether they believe it or not, they are tuning in to spirit. You know, so again, they don't mean any harm, but it's their way of portraying how they how they feel or how they how they die. I, I'm I'm surprised it's actually taken this long for somebody to get in touch to say I have never heard so much BS in my life. <laughs> But well, everybody everybody's their got own. their own opinion. Yes. Absolutely. Listen, Warren, it's it's always I, I I do find it fascinating and and as I say there's there's the skepticism and there's the skeptics that have, have been there. But as you say, unless you experience things yourself and and we are possibly in a building that uh I I've I've felt some very strange oh, presences here yes. and I don't just mean my former colleagues. <laughs> no, very much so. It is an old building or it has got its own wee characters around the place. I love that. It's own wee characters and we're we're part of them. Warren, thank you very much indeed. You're and welcome, uh, I know you're gonna be very busy tonight. Oh very busy. Take care. <laughs>